In this video we're going to be looking at solving equations which contain three terms. Uh, each example I've got is slightly different and requires different ways of reorganizing the equation but ultimately we're trying to end up with an equation that's x equals a number or whatever the variable is f, p, q, whatever the, the letter is. So if you look at the first one we've got x over 2 plus 3 equals 7. So there's actually two ways that we can tackle this. We could either get rid of this 3 first, or we could get rid of this 2, because we want to have x on its own, and everything else needs to be um, got rid of. So the way, or the easiest way to do it, is by getting rid of this 3 first. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides, which will leave us with x over 2. 3 minus 3 is nothing, and 7 minus 3 is 4. And then if we have x over 2, to get x, we'd have to multiply by 2. So we need to multiply the other side by 2, which is going to give us x equals 4 times 2, which is 8. The other way we could have done it would have been to multiply by 2 and then subtract 3. I'll just show you how that works. I won't do this for every example, but if I start with the equation, x over 2 plus 3 equals 7. And if we multiply both sides by 2, this will become x, this will become 6, and this will become 14. The biggest mistake that people will make is to not multiply this term as well. You multiply every term, you do the same thing to everything. Um, and then we'd have to subtract 6 to get x on its own, so that would be x equals 8. So either way, you get the same answer. Let's look at the next one. We've got 22 minus 3f equals 2f. I'm um, going to again try and get all the f's onto one side. So I think we'll try and get them onto this side so they'll be positive. So I need to add 3f to both sides. If I add 3f here, those two will cancel out. So I'll have 22 equals 2f plus 3f, which is 5f. If I um, want 1f, I'm going to have to divide by 5. So 22 over 5 is f, could leave it as that, or we could write it as 4 and 2 fifths equals f. Okay, looking at the next one, with this one here, this is different to the first example that we had, um, because yes, we do have a, a constant that we're subtracting or adding, and we've got a divisor, but the divisor is dividing the whole thing. So effectively, this top numerator is in brackets, so we want to get rid of this 7 first. So to get rid of that 7, we're going to have to multiply both sides by 7, um, which will give us 63 equals 4p minus 1. We're going to have to add 1 to both sides, which will give us 64 equals 4p. And then finally divide by 4, which will give us 16 equals p. So p is 16. Moving on to d. Um, I'm going to get rid of this 5 first, so we're going to subtract 5 from both sides, which will give us minus 16 equals 4k over 7. Then I'm going to multiply both sides by 7, which will give us minus 112. And that will be 4k. Then divide by 4 to get 1k. And minus 112 divided by 4 is minus 28. Um, e looks like a duplicate of C, so we'll just leave that one. Uh, move on to F. So for this one, we've got to multiply out this bracket first. So we're going to have 14 minus 21x equals 56. We didn't necessarily actually have to do that. Um, I'll show you with an alternate example. It's probably quicker to do it the other way. But we'll have minus 21x if we subtract 14 from both sides. Uh, we'll get, so those will cancel out. 56 minus 14 is going to give us 42. 
and then x is 42 divided by minus 21, which is going to give us minus 2. But as I said, it might have been easier to not multiply through. So we had 7 multiplying 2x, 2 minus 3x, and that equals to 56. If we just divide both sides by 7, that'll get rid of this 7 from here, and we'll have 56 over 7, which is 8. So 2 minus 3x is 8. And then subtract 2, we'll have minus 3x equals 8 minus 2, which is 6. And then divide by minus 3, which will give us x. And we'll have 6 over minus 3, which is minus 2. And then finally the last one. Um, in the second example that I just did there, um, that's what we're going to do to this one. We've got half here. So to eradicate that, we're going to have to multiply both sides by 2. And so this will be just 4 minus 2x, and this will be 48. Then subtract 4, because we want to isolate the x term. So the 4s will cancel out, so I'll have minus 2x equals 48 minus 4, which is 44. And then we'll have to do 44 divided by minus 2. So x is minus 22.